How many paddlers do we have here? We have 325 paddlers. Most white water we've done on Paddle Georgia, but it is really a fun ride. It is a lot of fun. Some nice shoals in there, just some really fun water. Expect to have to pull your boat out of the water and flip it over and drain it and pump it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to a lot of them. It's going to happen. It's going to happen to a lot of them. So plan on it. Should I just go ahead and jump in now and get it over with? Uh, very important to follow the instructions of the safety boaters. Um, very important, especially at the larger rapids, to not go until those safety boaters give you the clear. And uh, it wasn't a big deal at all. You just flip over. I, I ended up getting stuck on a rock and turning backwards and going through the rapid backwards and flipping over and swimming downstream for about 20 or 30 yards and fished my boat and my paddle and it was all good. It was fun. Yeah, they're more adjustable. They'll be hot tomorrow, so swimming will feel good. How about tipping over? What happened to you? Oh. After the first time, it came easy. Uh, Literally. About the fourth time, I kind of got to be a pro and wore out. I enjoyed it. It was, um, it was my third time in the kayak. Tipping over was a little bit scary, but I didn't enjoy it as much as Terry. So. No, she enjoyed me tipping over more than anything. I did. It seems overwhelming at first, almost impossible if you're not used to kayaking or canoeing, but it's relative, relatively easy. I never thought I'd be able to sit in a canoe all day for seven days and, you know, not just be miserable, but it wasn't. She kept saying we were going to do it, and I just agreed. No, it was like, happy. all right, but he grumbled the whole time. Yeah, but... The first day there was some grumbling too yeah, after this. But today I told her we would do it again. Retirement, so he's a little hard of hearing here. Uh, is there a black bear? I would probably guess you guys have good odds of probably seeing a black bear as you're paddling um, on this this week. It is a king snake. It is an eastern king snake. Oh, Hi, Mom. Hey. How are you, Michael? We're doing good. good. We're getting ready. To Here's your partner, No Cino. Swing your corner and say hi, you're my new partner. In a ring, balance here. Say goodbye, take your new partner. Thank you all for having the courage to get out here and dance. Paddle, Georgia, that's the life for me. When I'm out here on the river, I'm as happy as can be. This year's the Kusawati, Ella J to Carter's Lake. These species are fish, crayfish, mussels, and snails. Sediment and runoff from construction sites uh, is a big issue. You know, we're the most biologically diverse river basin in North America. 30 endemic aquatic species. Those are critters that aren't found anywhere else in the world. And so we live in a really special place, so we have a lot at stake up here. If we don't take care of these rivers and streams, we're going to lose a lot of these critters. And we've got a drinking water source for about 900,000 people. Uh, in these rivers. So there's a lot at stake. Can you explain to me very briefly what it is you're doing? <laughs> yes. We're running a chemical analysis to determine the amount of dissolved oxygen, if there's any nitrates or phosphates, which are nu nutrients which would affect the plant life, etc., in the water. Could indicate uh, potential sources of sewage or whatever coming into the water. All right. Good right there, Alan? Huh? Right. Good. Oh, look at that pretty little right there. Going down through here it makes you wonder how the Indians lived down through here and where they were and who was on the same spot that, that you're on as you're floating. <laughs> wow, it's got a little layer of charcoal right above it. This is a village here, relatively large, uh, that was occupied at two different time periods. Uh, one at about 900 AD, it was one of the first occupations, mm -hmm. and the other at about uh, 1400. Uh, to 1600 AD. Just in this discrete political unit of seven villages were 10,000 people. 
I'm a member of Georgia Kayak Fishing and I'm a Hobie team member. And uh, so I wanted to introduce and take some people kayak fishing because it's a great way to enjoy fishing and enjoy the wildlife and, and get out there without noisy motors and it's just really nice. They're about out from the, from the top of this dam and it's over 450 feet deep out through there. You, you guys paddled through some of the deepest water in Georgia at, at over 450 feet and the average depth of the lake is according to an article by Georgia Outdoor News was over 100 feet deep. Yeah. And how many gallons do you estimate? Two, two different crops of sweet corn. It needs water too. And how do you get it water? Well, I have a six inch line piped into the middle of this field. I run the water over here to the, this is the irrigation road. And it'll, it'll pretty much get the whole veggie patch in one pass. But that's, that's a seven hour deal, but. Uh, yeah. And how many gallons do you estimate? It's about, it's a lot. It's 500, uh, it's about 500 gallons a minute. I don't like to run it unless we have to. Sometimes we have to. It's June and here we are again with boats and tents galore. Paddling about a hundred miles while true love mines the store. Prayed for rain the day we left the river, it was dry. Sun so hot I cook myself, but Joe now don't you cry. Paddle Georgia, that's the life for me. When I'm out here on the river, I'm a sad the ash can be. Had a dream the other night. Oh, when that's the clean was water. Thought I saw I some runoff flowing Thank down you. the hill. I eddied out and saw upstream the sewers in their boat. Ethan, <laughs> Stan, and Rachel, and pirates all afloat. Then I saw a tear in Pino's eye as I swam on down the river. But Rachel, don't you cry. And old Georgia, that's the life for me. When I'm out here on the river, I'm as happy as can be. That's, that's what I was so impressed with, the, the camaraderie of, of everybody works together. They might pass, you know, pass by you. How you doing? Are you okay? You know, do you need anything? Do you have plenty of water? You know, your sunscreen, do you have plenty of sunscreen? You know, do you need some? Yeah. And then it's just, um, you get that from everyone, not just, you know, one or two people. It's like a big family taking care of each other. There is one other person that I wanted to recognize, yeah, but I out, think and, uh, he's already left, and that's uh, Alan yeah, Crawford. Well, I wish he was here because uh, he deserves a round of applause. Uh, he is the first person to ever paddle all seven days as a paraplegic. When Alan said he wanted to do that, I thought, well, you know, you could probably do the last six days. I think that would be safe to do. He's like, well, you know, I, I think I could do the first day. And I think he was an inspiration to all of us, uh, just to show you that uh, if you set your mind to something, anything is possible. And uh, I'm so glad that he came on this trip and, and uh, could uh, be that inspiration for all of us. I can do this. And so to, to those that are out there that, um, that say they can't, um, I, I hope they at least give it a try, because that's what I did. At one point, I'm sitting at home. What am I going to do with the rest of my life? Woe is me. And next thing you know, I'm back on the water and I've made 300 friends. I mean, it's just incredible.